what's up guys and welcome back to another video for me again today and today uh, we have the Fords of Friday uh, and on Fords of Fridays we do a build and a tune and this week uh, we have the car that is currently racing round track uh, this is the Ferrari La Ferrari um, possibly the worst name for a car in the world ever um, doesn't seem to be too creative um, but compared to how the car looks because I think the car looks absolutely stunning uh, it is a beautiful car um, and the first time I drove this car I'll be perfectly honest I absolutely hated it um, I drove it stock and I couldn't stand driving it at all uh, but then a few days ago um, I thought you know what I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna try and build it up into our class because I haven't done many R class cars and I haven't done many A class cars so I want to try and build those up a little bit because uh, I'm definitely lacking in my garage with those uh, classes so I built this car up and uh, began tuning it and it turns out to be an absolutely fucking awesome car um, I tune this on a number of tracks um, use Silverstone because uh, Silverstone's got quite a bit, uh, bit of bends in it uh, a little bit of a straight then I took it on Road Atlanta and got a pretty good time on the rivals um, I'll show you this because uh, our class at the moment is pretty much dominated uh, by the Ultima um, it pretty much destroys everything else and to get the time I got with this and the leaderboard position I was actually quite, uh, quite happy with uh, so yeah, upgraded, uh, this car is currently packing 963 horsepower, uh, 663 pound foot of torque, uh, but on the downside, it is still rather heavy, it does weigh 3,036 pounds, um, but it has got a big whopping 6.3 litre engine in it. Um, so yeah, this car overall is probably one of my favourite R-Class cars at the moment. Uh, it's not my favourite, not at all, because um, I like the Radical. Uh, and the Aerial Atom too, I do like the track cars, uh, but this is definitely up there in the top three. Um, so we're going to get onto the building tune for this now guys, uh, you can follow along as usual, uh, build it up and uh, take it for a spin, so let's get on to the build and the tune. Okay then, so as usual here we are back in the Forza Upgrade Shop, uh, and as we usually do we shall start with conversions. This should be a fairly quick building tune, because uh, there isn't a lot of parts upgraded on this at all. Uh, conversion, we have gone with a stock drivetrain, uh, we haven't put it uh, R-Class, uh, sorry yeah, R-Class, we haven't put it uh, four wheel drive, uh, we've left it rear wheel drive. Um, that's it for conversion, you <laughs> see not a lot at all. Um, platform and handling, there are no uh, engine upgrades uh, at all, you can't upgrade the engine whatsoever, it's as best as it can get apparently. Uh, but um, platform and handling, you've got two options, uh, roll cage, uh, we haven't gone with the roll cage um, because it does add quite a bit of weight. Um, and I don't know what it does to the stats, it makes them actually worse, so uh, I've stayed away from putting the roll cage on this because it doesn't seem to help whatsoever. Uh, weight reduction, uh, we haven't gone with the weight reduction either. Um, we've left it totally stuck, so that might surprise you a little bit. Um, but believe me, I'll show you the time on the Road America, not Road Atlanta as I said earlier, but Rom Road America, I'll show you the, uh, the time I got on it. So it on the fast tracks uh, this car is quite good and it does fairly well in the, in the uh, corners as well to be honest um, so we've left it and still weighs 3036 pounds so that's a bit of a change for me because i usually do make it priority to stick the weight reduction on uh, but i haven't on this one uh, transmission is stuck uh, we haven't upgraded the uh, the transmission at all so we've got the basic uh, seven gears i think it is on this car um, so we've got more than enough and seventh gear is quite long so you should be able to uh, top out down le mans uh, tires wise, uh, we have gone with the stock tires, <laughs> so you can see no tires, no engine upgrades, no weight reduction. Um, and uh, so look at the tire width, uh, tire width, none on the front, none, uh, and we've upgraded the rear tire width uh, to the only option we have available. Um, wheels, um, I don't remember if I actually upgraded any of the wheels on this, um, so we'll have a look. So I did upgrade the wheels somewhere, so I just got to remember and find out which ones they were. They were those ones, uh, the Pro Race 2s, uh, those are the ones we went for, I quite like them, they quite kind of uh, match the uh, style of the car as well, so it looked pretty cool. Um, and we'll have a look at the front rim, rim size, uh, that is totally stock. And the rear rim size is totally stuck as well. So as you can see, we haven't upgraded a lot on this car at all. Um, Aero-wise, we've gone with the Forza, Forza front wing. Uh, and rear wing is the Forza one as well. Um, so yeah, so not a lot has been upgraded on this car whatsoever. Um, but we'll have a look at the tune now. Uh, so the tyres, front and rear, we've gone both set at 28 uh, PSI. Gearing. Um, 
we can't actually do anything with this at all. Um, so you are stuck with the gears you've got. But as you can see, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then seventh is the extra long one. It does seem to uh, go on forever, that gear, so you shouldn't run out of uh, any uh, gears on Le Mans. Uh, first, second gears, you, off the line, you do go through them really, really quickly. Um, and I've never, never gone back into first on anything. Second gear on all the tracks is essentially the same as first gears for all the tight hairpins. Uh, so you should be fine with that as well. You shouldn't need to go down to first at all, apart from off the line. Uh, alignment, uh, camber, we've got minus two on the front and negative 2.2 on the rear. Uh, toe is zero for the front and negative 0.2 for the rear. Uh, caster angle is 6.1. Anti roll bars, we're going quite soft at 15.5 and 13.8. Uh, springs, we're going in the middle at 823.9, 851.2. Uh, ride height, not dropped all the way, we've got it as 2.9 and 4.3. Damping, 8.9 for the front rebound and 9.6 for the rear rebound. Uh, bump stiffness front is 2.2 and bump stiffness rear is 2.6. Aero, maxed out at 376 and 586. Uh, braking, I've got it set as 43% and 98%. Um, now, obviously, you guys can set these up however you want, because um, I know people do have quite a few different uh, opinions when it comes, or different techniques when it comes to uh, braking, so it's up to you how you guys set them up. Uh, and the differential I've got on this is 64% and 26% on deceleration. Uh, so that should give you the benchmark figures on the left. You see there's 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, 0 to 100 in 5.2. Uh, and it's apparently good for 204.6 miles per hour. Um, I haven't tested that, and I would debate that it's probably good for a bit more than that. Um, but if you guys test it out on top speed, let me know what actually top speed you get it up to as well. We're quite interested in this. I'm pretty sure I've been up to 190 already, and it's just been in the start of seventh gear. Uh, but I know seventh gear does bog down, so acceleration might not be the best on it. Uh, but if you guys test it out, uh, let me know, and uh, I'd love to hear what speed you got it up to because this car is absolutely rapid in a straight line. Um, and I'll just quickly show you the uh, rival time that I got in this so you can see uh, how well it does against all the other R-Class cars. And we'll have a look at Road America, not Road Atlanta, like I keep saying all the time. I always get them two mixed up every single time. Um, and as you can see, I am currently 132nd uh, with 2 minutes, 0 0.770. And I'll just scroll round to see so you can see that I'm actually using the LaFerrari. Uh, and I haven't checked. Oh no, there is another one higher above me, just slightly. So yeah, it's up there. Uh, and if we go straight to the top, I think you're going to see all the Ultimas uh, appear. Although there seems to be quite a selection. Yeah, a lot of Ultimas appearing now. And uh, Hennessy Venoms. So we look all the way to the top. What is the number one? Number one is the Ultima GTR. Yeah, so you can see. Top 10 are all Ultima GTR. So to get a 132nd with this car is uh, is quite impressive. And I'm more than happy with that. I've tried a few different tracks and it works out really, really well as well. So there you go, guys. There's the Forza Friday uh, build and tune for you all. I hope you all build it, tune it, and take it out. And uh, most of all, let me know in the comment section below how you got on with it, how you found it, uh, if you're going to use it more. Uh, or uh, if you damn right hated it, um, hopefully you won't hate it. Uh, hopefully you'll all fall in love with it and use it forever. Uh, <laughs> waffling on now. Uh, there you go, guys. Anyway, um, as always, feel free to hit the like button if you've uh, enjoyed this and you want to see more of these. Um, we have a lot more for the Friday stuff coming up anyway. Um, so feel free to leave me a comment, share, and subscribe, and all the usual stuff you do. Uh, and until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon.